Hi and welcome to another Dallas Diagnostics YouTube video. Today we have got a 2020 2.5 litre Ford Cougar plug-in hybrid with an engine management light on. We just come inside the car. You see there in the bottom corner the engine light is illuminated. So without further ado, let's have a look. So I've just done a quick code read of the Cougar P have you can see there we've got a P26C air engine coolant pump control circuit open, a P26D0 engine coolant pump control module system voltage low, and a P0562 PCM system voltage low. I am expecting the low voltage codes due to the battery actually being flat and the car not starting when I came out to it. So we'll get under the car, we'll have a look at this engine coolant pump. So I've now set the vehicle up in the air and you can now see I'm using my Snap-on Veris Pro. I've got it set to 12 to 20 volts with a 20 millisecond time base. And as we look up underneath the car you can see I've removed the front trim panel just to make it a bit easier access for my fat hands and for the sake of the video. See here we've got the electric coolant pump is just here, the electrical connector there which we can test powers and grounds. On the wiring diagram it says this connector just up inside there is also the connector that feeds the active front shutter grill and then just here on the back of the PCM there is another connector there that we can also connect into if needs be. That is what feeds after the splice from the PCM feeds the electric coolant pump. So got my least connected up if you are using more than one lead, I do recommend that you connect like that and stack. You can tuck the wires out of the way. So, all I'm going to do, connect up for a ground. And then I'm just going to check the lint signal first. Let's go into the back. You can't see there. Just turn the torch off. That is not a very good looking wind signal. So now what we can do, get back up inside. So now I've disconnected the connector. Just slide it out of the way for you to see. There you go, and the wind signal does go, it does change but it's not great. So now if I just turn the torch on, we'll just have a look up here, active front shut grill, no serious issues with these. So I'm just going to go, it's pin one, pilot and brown wire, screw my arm in this gap. Says. So you can see there, I'm now back probing pin one, which is a violet and brown wire. As you come down, you can now see we have a really, really good looking wind signal. Now the wiring diagram does show a splice. One side splices off, comes here to the pump. One side splices off and goes up there. It's that connector, which then runs around into here, into the active front shutter there. So what we do have now between the pump and the PCM is the connector on the back of the PCM. So what we'll just do is we'll disconnect these just to make sure the wiring integrity is good the whole way along. It's not looking lightly. Due to when we even disconnect the uh, pump, The signal is still bad. So we come up here, it's the seventh wire along in the middle according to the wiring diagram. Just go up in there. Connect up, get a ground. He says. You 
see now we have the exact same waveform for this connector as we did over at the pump so there's definitely an issue on this side of the circuit so what we can do is we can turn the engine off now we can disconnect this make sure that the, there's no water ingress in the connector check the pin grips also we could also go into the other side of this connector oh we're actually so let's take a quick look if we can i think we found a problem right there let's turn the torch on Just in there, that is looking like a bit of water ingress. Just let me uh, disconnect it, lower it down while I'm quick look. I just disconnected the sensor, give myself a bit of room at the back of the PCM. You can see right in the middle of the frame there, there is some blue crusties on the violet and brown wire. I turn it around, you can just see it there. Open circuit or high resistance going into the LIN wire. So get that repaired, check it out. I'll be back in a bit. So here we are, we're back underneath the vehicle, back probing the lin wire for the electric coolant pump. As we come over to this connector again, you can now see that it's all connected up nice and neat. Wire repair all done, it's all taped back up and fastened into place nice and secure. As we come down and we look at the scope, you can now see that we have a perfect lin signal. We just press stop. We can zoom out. Pick anywhere on the screen, it will just randomly select the win, and now you can see perfect message coming along. Little drop off for the end of message. Perfect. Awesome. You can see there's much more communication on this lin wire than before, and now it's all working fine. Happy days. If you like today's video, then please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. Watch some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.